The views of the guest are that of the guests and do not represent nor reflect the views and opinions of the Lockout Men channel, the recruiter call channel, nor its host. This site content is for entertainment, educational, and informational purposes only. Now, the purpose of this is to make sure nobody gets in your door. So like I said, these trucks have master keys. One key fits all. So if somebody was to put their key inside of that door and try to yank on it, they won't be able to pull it open because the seat belt is strapped in. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for listening in today's episode. Top 10 safety tips for female drivers brought to you by Lady Luck. 333 from youtube guys go over there and subscribe to that young lady's channel what looks like a western express driver anyway let her know lockout men sent you over there in this episode right here she is talking about safety tips for female drivers out there now i think this is a new female driver which is awesome but new drivers new drivers new drivers let me tell you you guys always come and speak about stuff that was already said but hold on it's a good thing though it's a good thing L listen now it's a good thing to have a fresh take a fresh person to come and reiterate the safety tips that these female drivers really need to take upon i've been saying these same tips from this young lady for years I, I for one approve of this message i'm president rathcock and i approve this message hear the music hey ladies this one is for you buki now i know it can be very challenging for us as females being out here on this road i am going to give you 10 tips on how to stay safe while out here on this road let's get into it tip number one always be aware of your surroundings always 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 make sure you are paying attention to what's going on around you when you are getting out of your truck going into these truck stops going into the shower coming in and out getting fuel make sure you are paying attention to what's going on around you even when you're driving pay attention to the cars that's behind you pay attention to the trucks that might be following you don't get out your truck and be having that phone in your hand with your head down and not paying attention to what's going on around you that's what I've been trying to say for years because a lot of you females out there, you guys love to get out of the truck. You guys love to do the TikTok thing and everything without even understanding that people be watching. People be watching in the truck stops. People be watching on the road. People be watching at the shippers and receivers. Pay attention. To your surrounding ladies sometimes it's like i'm watching somebody else you never know who could be following you who could be watching you or any of the above there is a lot of weirdos out here so you always want to make sure you see what's going on around you while you're moving around out here in these streets <laughs> tip number two never leave your truck without your phone just in case somebody actually ends up following you or you get into a situation where you need emergency assistance and you need it fast, you wanna have your phone on you. Why would you leave your phone in your truck when that's your lifeline? They call them smartphones. Exactly, exactly. And I wanna stop the show for this particular point right here because I seen the video of a young lady that claims allegedly that she was almost kidnapped in a truck stop now at that particular time she said she got out of their truck she left her phone in the truck and what i have said on this point right here why would you leave your phone in the truck something in a million years i would have never thought happened finally did uh i got up late last night go to the bathroom which I never do at night and was walking in didn't have my phone on me didn't have my wallet on me was just going in to go to the bathroom and behind me and grabbed me of course I went to kicking and screaming fight or flight and luckily a bull hauler and a flat better saw what was going on and came to my rescue police officer asked him what the hell he was doing 
the pl the gentleman told him that he was going to kidnap me, essay me, and take my life. I mean, I mean, kidnap the bitch. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. You know, me and murder, we, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. Yeah. So with that said, it's it, it's feasible, right? Feasible. She got up in the middle of the night at a truck stop, left her lifeline, which is her phone, and she claims that some stranger grabbed her from behind. She started kicking and screaming. A couple of guys from the from around the area seen what happened, came to her rescue. She called the cops, and the cop came back and and told her that the the guy had those plans for her maybe i don't i don't know but i'm just saying ladies shout out to lady luck 333 for the nice tips for you ladies out here to listen to and hopefully you guys will take heed make sure you always got your phone when you getting out that truck tip number three get you some type of weapon a pocket knife a tire thumper, a magna stop, <laughs> whatever the fuck you can get your hands on that you can make sure you knock a nigga out just to get him to fuck up off of you, get that. Get you the little mace that goes on the keychain, real small, light handy, a nice little piece of metal, what the fuck ever, whatever works, honey. Oh, yeah. I've been saying that. I've been saying that, you ladies. Now, again, the aficionados was be like, yo, get yourself a little pew pew. But a lot of trucking companies frown upon pew pews in your truck. That sounds like a two year old. Look, a lot of companies frown upon guns in the truck, okay? Even though they know that you guys come into a whole lot of issues, there's some liabilities that trucking companies really don't want to take so those items and more that she says to use and keep on you at all times is legal and for personal protection is great but me you guys know where i stand that good can of wasp never leave home without it tip number four Try not to dress too sexy. Now I know us as women, while we out here on this road, we want to be comfortable and it's fucking hot out here. But it's unfortunate that we have weirdos out here in this world that we're living in. We can't be too comfortable and I know it's very unfortunate, but try not to dress too provocative. Even though these are not your intentions, you never know what mind state these dudes be in while they out here on this road. So you don't want to send them off the wrong signal by dressing too sexy or too provocative or showing too much skin or having your clothes too tight, whatever the case may be. Just try to dummy yourself down while you out here just to be safe. I know you want to be sexy and you want to be cute. It's about being safe at the end of the day. Tip number five, never tell anyone you are in the truck alone. When you getting in and out of your truck, you're gonna have people hitting on you. You're gonna have people wanting to know, are you married, are you single? Never let anyone know that you are in the truck alone. Even if you gotta lie and say, yeah, my husband in the back, do that. Just to make people think twice before they come into your truck or even think about doing anything to you. have it in the back of their mind that, oh, she got somebody in the truck with her. Two heads is better than one. A motherfucker gonna try you faster when you by yourself versus when you're with someone. Also, another thing that you ladies might want to start doing is keeping your curtain or your inside curtain closed. A, a lot of times when you be coming up in the truck stops and stuff like that, and your curtains be wide open, again, a lot of guys be in that parking lot, they be peeping it. They be peeping that you're in the truck by yourself. They be peeping to see if there's anybody else in there with you. And she's right. There are times that People will try you faster when you're by yourself than they would if you were with somebody. So try to keep that conversation to a minimum. I know a lot of us guys be on the up and up when we try to talk to you and all like that. But sometimes you ladies do come with the stern demeanor and everything. And that's why a lot of guys are, are put back 
because a lot of you guys are standoffish and I understand that could be for safety reasons. But when like when a legitimate driver comes up and try to talk to you, yeah, that that's cool. Same thing with the legitimate driver. If you feel something with that driver, you might not want to give him your direct number, but you might want to give him a Google number or or a text now number. You don't want to give him the real number because if that legitimate guy turns out to be a creep, a fraud, a straight up hobo, then you could just easily block him because you didn't give him your real number. So again, like I said, keep the conversation to a minimum. And if you are feeling that driver, sometimes you might want to ask him for his number. If there's numbers to be his change, I'm just saying. Tip number six, try not to leave your truck at night. Now leaving your truck at night is a no-no, honey, and especially without your phone. You wanna try to get everything you need done before sunset. Get your food in, get your shower in, find you a good parking spot before sun comes down because you don't wanna be moving around, drawing too much attention to you at night. The creeps come out at night, that's what they say. Something in a million years I would have never thought happened finally did. Uh, I got up late last night to go to the bathroom, which I never do at night. Tip number seven, always try to park in well-lit places. When you get ready to shut down for the night, this is a part of pre-planning. You wanna pre-plan you somewhere where it's well lit. And sometimes it doesn't work like this all the time. If you get to a point where you're down to your last hour on your clock and you absolutely have to park on the side of the road, unfortunately, do that. Now hold on. Gonna have to disagree with you right there. Uh, lady, you was coming with the fire and the fire was coming, but I'm gonna have to get some water and put that little fire out right there. Don't roll down to the last hour. Try to roll down to the two hours. That'll give you plenty of time to start counting down the truck stops that you can get to. Ladies, make sure you download Trucker's Path. Welcome to Trucker Path. We help make truckers' lives easier on the road. Let's get started by opening the app. Trucker Path Pro displays truck stops, way stations, parking availability, fuel, Walmarts, and more. A great feature is the ability to filter out certain major truck stops, like TA and Petro, Pilot and Flying J, Loves, or Independent Stops. We have thousands of independent truck stops you won't find anywhere else. Because Trucker's Path have all of the parking spots, all of the truck stops, all of the gravel lots, all of the mom and pop truck stops that's not on the Garmin or Ram and Nally, and a couple of Walmarts, which depending on which area Walmart that you go to, a lot of Walmarts in some areas frown upon truck drivers parking in their parking lots. Not all of them though. That's why doing that two hour time frame, you can you can probably get on the phone and say, hey, I'm coming in hot. Is there a place for me to spot up tonight? If so, is it OK that I do that? Just give Walmart a call and make sure you get the name of the person that you talk to, i.e. manager, because there's plenty of managers in that Walmart and you want probably the store manager now the store manager is not always available so you want to get the manager that's up under the manager that's up under the manager but when you get a hold of a manager make sure you get that person's name so when you do park in the parking lot and you come against some pushback you could probably let them know hey i talked to such and such and they said it was okay for me to post up here in the parking lot. But if the pushback is too much, then hop up and leave. You still got some hours left and you're able to still find a good parking spot. 
Now, like she said, find something with a well-lit area. Sometimes that's not going to always be the case because if you do find a mom and pop spot, their parking lot might not be the best accommodations. And then again, when you get there, it's always best to shut down, shut the curtains, call it the night and just do your pre-trip in the morning. Tip number eight. Try to share your location with somebody. Now, I know everybody don't have Apple phones and iPhones and stuff. Some of y'all got Androids and Galaxies. I know on the Apple, you are able to share your location with someone for an hour, for a whole day, or forever. If you have an iPhone, I encourage you to share your location with somebody just so somebody can know where you are at at all times. You I agree. And yes, Android does have that feature as well. You can go in, go into the settings. You'll see it will say something like location finder or something like that. You can click on that and test it over to your mother, father, sister, brother, significant other, best friend. At least let somebody know where you at because anything can happen to you anything has happened to all these truck drivers out here a couple of truck drivers unfortunately have lost their lives out here and their loved ones just don't know what happened to them at least with this option right here by you letting them know where you at at all times let's just say they don't hear from you they can ping the location and they know that you your last location was at this particular truck stop then they can call the police in that area to go and do a wellness check on you so yes i definitely agree with this one make sure that you guys go and and make sure that everybody knows where you at again man before she end with the last couple of tips man lady luck 333 is coming with the fire it looks like she's a new driver with western express i'm not sure but let me let, let me put my tip in here lady luck i i see that you proudly promote western express in the background but you might not want to let everybody know where you drive for just the same thing you said there are weirdos out there and they see nice little lady tat tatted up looking good and you're, i'm not saying that you're inviting anybody but people know that you drive for western express you might want to just probably kind of like blur the name of the company it, it's cool i like the backdrop i like the backdrop of of the video guys go over there the link to the video is in the description if you want to hear the full video without my commentary but uh, but yeah lady luck 333 is on fire with the tips i said oh lord jesus it's a fire uh-uh we ain't gonna be in no fire not today tip number nine try not to be too friendly i like to say trucking is not for sissies because it ain't shit you gotta have thick skin to be out here playing with the big boys this is a doggy dog world and there are a lot of creeps and a lot of weirdos out here you gotta have thick skin when you out here in this truck. So sometimes you gotta put your game face on. Let a motherfucker know you're not the one or the two. You hear me? Don't be too friendly with these strangers because they might take it the wrong way. Hey. I'm President Rathcock and I approve this message. And last but not least, tip number 10. Use your seatbelt trick when shutting down at night. When you shut down at night, make sure you strap your seatbelts into your door for extra security. Hey guys, here's that seatbelt trick in a little bit more detail. I take my seatbelt and feed it through the handle on my door and buckle it. My car seat does have to be all the way forward for the seatbelt to reach on my van. All right, so today we're going to do a little seatbelt safety trick. First, you're going to get up. You don't want to pull your seatbelt all the way. Get it through your door. Pull and click. All right, so today. Not a fan. Sorry. Sorry. Not a fan of the seatbelt trick. Not a fan of the seatbelt trick and the reason why i'm saying is not a fan of the seatbelt trick it would be cool if maybe one person would do it but now that it's all across the internet 
everybody has said something about the seatbelt trick how to put the seatbelt trick through the door how to loop it around and make sure you click it into the seatbelt not all trucks are accessible for the seatbelt trick the mac trucks don't even have the 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 handle on the door so that you could slide the seatbelt through the loop right there no no I, i'm not sure about cascadia's maybe cascadia's have that i know the the internationals at least the one that i was in at one time didn't have it so no i am not a fan of the seatbelt trick now listen this is where a can of wasp spray comes into play because if you do use the seatbelt trick what's to stop the perpetrator from busting out the window right they're gonna they're gonna step up on the on the on the step bust out the window and of course if you you hear it and you come up there quick you could probably fight them off or whatever the case hit them with that can of wasp spray that'll that'll definitely get them off of you or make them fall back the seatbelt trick to me just don't work let's say for example if they open up the door right and they cut the door and they, they could open up the door and they could probably cut it but now that this seatbelt trick is widely known over the internet and thousands and thousands and thousands of people have shown how the seatbelt trick works thousands and thousands and thousands of people have seen how the seatbelt trick works so with that in mind thousands and thousands of perpetrators would know what they're in for when they come across one of these trucks that have the so-called seat belt trick so no i'm not a fan good tip but not a fan my my tip for that my counter tip lock the door I, now i know at one point she did say that these trucks comes with master keys keys could fit in other trucks that that was the case back in the day back in the day but it's it's not the case now it's not the case now don't don't get me wrong trucking companies do have a master key to their trucks yeah but these newer trucks that's that's out on the road now not so much so again just lock the door lock the door that's that's my counter tip for that guys that's going to do it for this episode if you like what this young lady has said go over there and subscribe to her on her channel lady luck 333 make sure you let her know that lockout men sent you i appreciate the tips little lady even though everybody has just about said just about the same thing but it's always good to have a fresh perspective on those tips because even though we're old school guys right here a lot of the new school people that's coming up into trucking you have a fresh face beautiful face at that again tatted up and everything a lot of guys will tend to listen much more quicker to a bit button and a smile than a hard than a hard chest and hard legs i'm just saying i'm just saying if you guys like what i do over here i do appreciate you guys hit that like button yes sir hit that like button it's free i'm telling you it's free listen let my recorded voice tell you what that like button could do hold on what's going on guys i just want to stop the video right here right quick if you guys made it this far into the video and you guys like what you're hearing go ahead and hit that like button for me bro hit that like button it's free it's free if you made it this far into the video man make sure you hit that like button it's right up under the video man and if you guys like more content like this consider okay y'all got two options well one 
but two options. You can either subscribe for the channel for more, and if you really want to rock with me and get the videos early, make sure you join. Join the channel, all right? Shout outs to all my members of the channel that rocks with your man. Thank you very much. Now let's get back to the show. Until next time, everybody. Safety first, ladies. If it wasn't for us nasty old truck drivers out here on the road, you wouldn't have none of y'all shit. This video was brought to you by a truck and a truck driver.